I wonder if I can do something in this room. But Stanley simply couldn't. <laughs> what? What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his wait, responsibility? Wait, 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 what? Never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go anywhere. Wait, 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 hold up. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. What? I will be happy. Wait, what? Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. What Eventually, the? someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. <laughs> did, I, did I accidentally... Yeah, I, I think I accidentally just found an ending. <laughs> just close the door. It's just ending ever. I did not expect that. <laughs> uh, but anywho. Hello there, everyone. How you all doing? This is Judy Desmondi speaking here, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Um, the reason is that I'm playing this again, this again is because um, I just fucking love this game, and uh, I think there might be more endings to it. I think it just depends on which path you take. In the last one, I uh, just said, "Fuck you, narrator. I'm not gonna follow you." But this time, I'm actually gonna follow what he actually Wait, says. Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Are you sure that I'm mistaken? I don't really think so. It's time for answers. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. On the right. No, not the right. We, we are going to be a good boy. We should do what he says. We are a good boy now. Not a bad boy. Not a rebel. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Hmm. In a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker? Let it ball up inside you, take it out passive-aggressively on another co- God damn it! Using snipes to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your side is a flick blue car- Okay. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment, okay? Everyone is unique. <laughs> you, most of all. Wow, that's so inspiring. I'm s I'm so inspired. Room closet? What's this? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Is this one of these things I can just stand in here and just wait? <laughs> I'm not I'm gonna just sit here and wait. There's there was nothing here. No <laughs> point to make it. No path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. You know what? I'm gonna do that uh, some other time, not right now. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. We, we walked down. No, we're not walking down. Okay, it's time to stop messing around. Oh, pretty. What's this? Uh, executive bathrooms, okay. That's cool. So what's this? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Hmm? Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. Hmm. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Where? Oh, there. Uh, what was the code again? Two... Man, my memory is so bad. What was the code again? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. <laughs> Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was too. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Yeah, by sheer luck. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Ooh, what is this? 
Are we gonna find out where all our co-workers went? Maybe that is... An elevator! Let's go down, shall we? I did that. There's so many possibilities of where you can go. And that's what I like about this game. You can just shoot your own story. Like, I don't know, like, how many endings there is to this game, but I'm gonna try to find every single one of them. I think this is, this is just... deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Hell yeah, time to get some answers! Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hmm, that's... that's bad. Very dark in here. And there's a... Okay, light bulb button? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Well, we're here, so... Yeah! Oh, we're going here, okay. What is this? Is this all the television rooms of all the employees in the facility? Now the monitors jumped along. Oh, look at that! I was right! Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh. My. God. They're keeping us as slaves. Watching our daily activities. This mind control facility, it was too fired to believe oh, shit. it couldn't be true. Is... Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Wait, hold on. Uh, I actually forgot. Oh, there we are. There we are. I just saw it. Dear God. We must no, find an end to this mind controlling. To believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But oh, what the is proof, this? The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, so this is actually... The end you're supposed to get, I guess. System fire off or on? Hmm, should I turn it on or should I turn it off? I'm having a feeling if I turn it off, I just get the, the usual ending. But I'm so curious what happens if I turn it on. Ah, fuck it. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Uh, After no, you of course not. all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Of course, I am the master, after all. And the, uh, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Okay, you know, can I turn it off? Go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're <laughs> going to have to do much better than that. Oh I'm shit! I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh In shit! That this machine is activated without proper DNA identification. Ah uh, oh! The detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, detonation, then. Oh shit! I can't turn it off. Let's say um, two minutes. 
Oh shit, two minutes. Now, this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Steve? No, it's not it's fun! Your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your What's heart's this? desires. Five. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until Three. the bomb goes off. Three. It's this. But what numbers. Each one of them is. More oh, time look at that. to talk about you. About one. Me. Where we're Two. Going. What all this means. Three. I'm I think four is maybe place. upstairs. Can we stop What's this? That? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Yeah. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. We're not gonna be right, obliterated. Stop it, narrator. Anyway, you know what you're I'll talking you about. Exactly what happened to them? I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. So you're the mastermind after this. So world, you are. Swallowing you're the villain. One inside. Or I let it burn to Is there another button? I have to say this though. Or can this I turn it off? Has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate No, I can't you. shit. Maybe we can't do oh, anything about right. this. Come I don't goofed. Go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Oh, for but fuck's I'm sake. This so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going Green to put button? some extra time on the clock, why not? <laughs> what? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. But... Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? What's this? Is it that you have no idea where what's you're this? going or what you're supposed what to be doing right now? What does this mean? Four. Or did you just assume when you saw Wait. that timer that something in this room was this? capable of turning it off? Oh, come I mean, on, there must be a way to stop this, or maybe there button, isn't. Button, button. Screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these yeah, I press buttons. that. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That no, this video game oh, what's that? Beaten? One solved. Oh, you Any motherfucker! What your purpose in this place is? <laughs> oh wow! You closed the door on me. Are you serious? But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Oh you're god. Only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. You you haven't you won yet! yet. Maybe. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Oh god. Until a big What's this? Oh goodbye employee 427. Oh god. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All of Oh god. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. And we're dead. Okay, so don't turn on the mind control thing on my barber. Shit, I done goofed. <laughs> um, okay then. Um, I think I'm just gonna go back and just turn it off, so I actually don't waste time here. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah blah blah. Dark secrets. Wait, what? Pad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. <laughs> what? It did I rush too quickly? Oh, okay, fine, okay then. Fine, have it your way. Wow, well, have to ruin everything for me, rat narrator. What a dick. Okay, let's turn it off this time. Oh god. Uh, did I do bad this time? Huh? What's happening? What's happening? Blackness, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. You're gonna close on me, aren't you? 
Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. This looks it like a green screen. This isn't screen. real. Stanley stepped through the open door. <laughs> do I dare? Do I dare? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yay! We got the good ending! Even though I really think there is a good ending to this game, but... Yay! Achievement unlock, beat the game! Yeah, that's what we were supposed to do in the... F Maybe I was supposed to do, like... Do what the narrator told me the first time I played. Okay, um, I don't know what to do to fill it in, in the video. What the hell? What? Why does this look all different? Huh? When Stanley came to a set of two Wait, open what? doors, he entered the door on his left. What was that? Um, did I? I didn't do anything bad now, did I? Hold on a minute. I'm gonna fill in this video a little bit. How about we go to the broom closet, eh? That would be very Yet exciting. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided. Oh no! Oh no! 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 I'm gonna stay in this room. I don't care. You cannot tell me what to do. He's not gonna say anything, is he? He's not gonna say anything, is he? But this is a boner kill! I bet if I start off the game again, he's probably gonna say something else. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't cock block me like this. <laughs> hey, fine. Be a dick about it. The disbelief. Stanley decided to find an answer there. Oh, come on. Are you serious? I can't even go in the broom closet anymore! Oh, fuck you! Okay, I guess just beginning the game again doesn't really do it. So fine, I'll just quit to the menu then. Fuck you. Of disbelief, yes, I knew it! But there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay here till you actually give me the ending. Because I know there's probably gonna be an ending to this. Here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. There's a reason to be here. I mean look, here's the famous broom in the broom it was closet. That Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is. He's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. <laughs> doing sweet fuck all. If that what FA stands for. Are I... you are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please <laughs> offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Well, I uh, like the texture of the walls. It's very uh, fascinating. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, 
At least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. <laughs> well, you should have thought of that, you dumb bitch. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> I think they would find that concerning, actually. Even though I don't really think they actually played Stan this game. Stan was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Oi! He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Wow, you're gonna They're go that deep? Money. Also, Stan is addicted to drugs and hookers. Wow, you're going that deep now? Fuck you! Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. <laughs> you got this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. I and just a died. Melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system, and you collapsed on the keyboard. Yeah, I I'm dead, Whatever guys. I I'm like dead. This, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, <laughs> the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer. Making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. Okay, <laughs> when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Okay, 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 I'm a new, I'm a new player. Um, I don't know what the fuck's ah, going on. Second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> I... I <laughs> what's gonna... <laughs> you too? <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. <laughs> you can hand the controls to the fish, fungus... Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. <laughs> when you're ready to pick up the story again. <laughs> oh, so I'm not gonna get it, like the ending or anything. I'm just gonna just hit it and do fuck all. Okay, then. Well, that's I guess that's the broom closet. <laughs> and that was actually fun. And I did not expect it to be that, uh, you know, as this game is. But okay then, um, I think I'm gonna head and leave this episode of the standard panel right here. So, like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe and wanna see more videos like this. I'm the Small GT, signing off.